been here before The devil knocked me down and me crying on the floor Then God came and got me Told me I was the one that no one could copy Now I'm on a whole nother frequency This ain't juice that come down to meet with me My third eye is open, come sit with me So I can feel your vibe <laughs> oh god, I haven't posted a video all year I did, but not really. Like when I did post, it was like here and there. Or I started Vlogmas. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Vlogmas. I genuinely don't know what happened to Vlogmas, but guess what? It is a new, it's, it is about to be a new year. <clears throat> and, um, I'm gonna hit you with my daily lawns. Like I always hit y'all with. My hands ashy, they feel ashy. I just wash my hands, who really cares? It's the new year. I lotion in the new year. But we are gonna get these lip split sticks though. Getting them crevices. Mm -hmm. All right y'all, all right babe, hush. So today, I wanted to obviously come to you guys. By the title of this video, you see what the heck we're going to be talking about. How has 2020 changed me? And what can I look forward to in 2021? Like, I, I can honestly say that I'm tired of, like, BSing. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of the same thing. I'm tired of the half support. I'm tired of... You know, I have my days where I'm not motivated or I have my days where I just don't feel like doing anything. You know, that comes with having anxiety and depression. You know what I'm saying? That comes with that thing. And, like, my mom always tell me, because I've, I've been down, bro. I've been down. Not, like, down bad, but, like, quarantine. Like, I feel like I, I done put blistex all over my face. Now it's in my eye. I feel like quarantine really, 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 really took a toll on my mental in a way that I never thought that it would take a toll on my mental. Like, I honestly don't know how to really function outside anymore. Like, I don't know how to function outside of my house. Like, I don't want to say I necessarily get, like, scared or, like, I don't know. I just feel like I get annoyed easier now. I always got annoyed at little stuff, but now I get annoyed even more. <laughs> But this quarantine, I don't think did any justice for anybody's mental health that has or that goes through different mental illnesses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have ADHD. That comes with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Memory loss. Just, uh, just, just, just every damn thing. All the things that I wrote down to try to remember. I forgot. Having ADHD, I should have known that was going to happen. But I just wanted to prove to you guys that I'm not lying. But ADHD also includes, you know, anxiety and depression. For sure, for sure. And, you know, a lot of us go through things throughout the year that they don't really talk about. You know what I'm saying? I'm an open book now. Well, I used to be open book. And then I stopped being open book. And then now I'm just like... I'm about to close this book, to be honest, because not everybody deserves your energy or deserves to feel what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by that is you can express to people how you feel, but you don't have to express it to everybody because not everybody genuinely cares. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just want to hear your business. And... After a while, I started to realize that wasn't beneficial for me because now everybody does my business and nobody's actually helping me. They're just, they don't really care about what's going on. So, now I decided to separate myself from that. Now, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. It took me a whole year to realize that I feel like I'm, bullsh I'm bullshitting with my content. It took me a whole quarantine year to realize that I have so much potential and that I'm actually genuinely funny you know I'm, I'm really funny sometimes I be doubting myself like yo I'm it's no way that everybody out here is 
they like this type of comedy. These niggas is not funny. I'm funny. But then I started to realize, I am that nigga. I am funny. Like, I, I am what I was put on this earth to be. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has those days. Everybody makes mistakes. Every All right, let me not get into Hannah Montana. But nobody's perfect. Yeah, we're in. Again, and again, and again, and right. Nobody. No, that's legit. Like, that's that's it. Like, y'all not y'all get out perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't wake up every day hoping that the day is gonna be a good day, unless you actually sit there and you tell yourself, yo, today is going to be a good ass day. And then you fight and prove all the power that you have, bro, to make sure that your day is a good day. I started to realize that. The less that I spoke negativity on my life, the less negative my life was. <laughs> People are not realizing that your tongue is very powerful, bro. The more you say negative things about yourself, hate hateful mean nasty things about yourself that's what your life becomes all those hateful and nasty words that you done said about yourself i've always been told to uplift myself people always say king you're cocky no i'm confident i'm confident i'm aware of what i'm working with because you are not comfortable in your skin you are feeling intimidated you you don't like that it's making your spirit uneasy people hate that that's why people always say be yourself bro no matter what like, I wish, I wish uh, in school they talked more about like mental health, you know what I'm saying? And like how to survive or like how to get through certain things or just how to deal, bro. Because so many people around me, including myself, is dealing with mental health issues, bro. And I feel like being quarantined don't do anything but just add on to the mental health issues that people are having right now. No money, no jobs. You can't see your family, you can't go outside, you are legit in your house. It is also protecting the millions of people that's out there that's been getting sick or just, you know, trying to have safety for yourself. But bro, it will really take a toll on your mindset. Like I, I literally sit in this house all day, every day, do the same thing over and over again and still wake up and do it <laughs> all over again. <laughs> You're probably saying to yourself, like, King, you could do, you could do whatever you want to do. You could, wh how, what can I really do that's in my field other than make videos? You know what I'm saying? Like, I sell clothes. If you haven't checked out my website, you know, go down to the link, go down to the link description box below. Check out my website. You know what I'm saying? I do clothes. But we're in the middle of a panoramic right now. We in the middle of a panty cake. Who's buying a hundred dollars eighty dollar sweatsuits right now when cable bill light bills rent is all of that is due who's really buying stuff like that if you're not selling lysol gloves or something that's essential to the people you ain't really making no money see niggas issue here do you see you see everybody's issue right now you see why everybody's going crazy and losing their mind i'm over this year I'm over this year, but listen, I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. I am not going into the new year with that same energy, though. I can't. I refuse to go into the new year with the same energy that I had in 2020 and then expect my outcome to be different. You cannot continue to do the same things and expect your outcome to be different, bro. Like, how many YouTube videos am I going to make complaining about me not doing YouTube? How many times y'all gonna come back and sit and watch that? Let me get a show of hands. Nobody, because I don't even re-watch my newer videos anymore because I don't even want to see myself complaining about the same shit. So what I'm gonna do for myself is, I'm gonna write a list of things that I want to get done for the new year, how I want to succeed, and how I want to better myself and, and better my mental. Like, my mom always told me, bro, she always told me, it is okay to go through something. It is okay to cry, lay in your bed, so wear the same underwear for a couple of days, and all that. You feel me? Not eat, lose, and sleep, maybe oversleeping, overeating, however y'all deal with y'all pain. You know what I'm saying? My mama always said, it is okay to go through it. But she also told me, do not stay in it. Never stay in it, bro. Go through it, get out of it. Because that pain is not going to last, bro. 
unless you allow it to last. If you sit there and you soak in your misery, or you sit there and you uh, swallow, uh, what are the words? Swallow, wallow in your pain. How do you get yourself out of it? You just sit there and lay there all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, and I'm not saying this is easy. I'm not saying this is easy. But I'm letting you know this has been embedded in my life, my whole life. So it's like, it's easier for me to get myself out of certain situations. Because sometimes you can legit look at a situation and say like, yo, this is not gonna, this is not gonna affect me in the long run. Why am I stressing over this? This is not gonna, this is not gonna help pay my bills. Why am I stressing over this? This person does not help me do anything in life. Why am I stressing over them? Because my friend didn't call me back, why am I sitting here stressing myself? I could be going around with my day. We do this to ourselves. For what? For what? Go through it, get out of it. You know what I'm saying? It, for me, sometimes it takes me maybe two to three days to get bounced back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was so motivated to post YouTube videos after my homeboy had hit me up, but then my uh, a piece on my laptop stopped working. Not motivated no more. Don't want to do nothing. But guess what? I have a hold of the laptop and I'm about to figure out how I'm going to get this video up. <laughs> if it don't go up, then it don't go up. But at least I tried. You know what I'm saying? I feel like where a lot of people don't, like, that's exactly fuck up at, is that they don't try. They don't try. They just say no. Or they don't do. Or they say they can't. Or it's like so much of you don't want to. When you're speaking those words, bro, what do you expect the universe to pick up on? That's going to be your move. That's going to be your vibe. Like, you don't want to take that same energy, bro, of 2020 and bring that into 2021. Because 2020 was a year that I want to forget. This is a year that I never want to relive. This is the, a year that I'm terrified about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to have the same energy. I want nothing but blessings next year. I want nothing but a whole bunch of, I want an abundance of money. I want, I want good health. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody around me to still be alive and functioning properly. Like, I'm worried about the bigger picture in life and not that shit that's going to stress me out for five minutes and then I can't get my mind back on track. And that shit lasted only five minutes and my whole day is gone. Like, I, I want to stop living like that. Like, it don't make no sense. It, it really don't make no sense. And half the time I sit here and I say to myself that, yo, my content is not good enough. I'm so hard on myself. I'm so hard on myself. And people tell me that my content is great. That I have good ass content and I'm funny and I look good and all this stuff. And I, I know what I be talking about. I have good conversation. And I won't post because I don't feel like nobody's gonna watch it. Fuck that, okay? Fuck that. I'm posting when I want, how I want, what I want. I'm not really caring no more. Like, I started growing on TikTok. I'm at like 6,000 supporters right now. Six, my bad. 60,000. 60 thousand. 60.7 thousand followers right now. I'm so grateful for that. I, I took the time and put my, my work into something. I was trying to do that with YouTube, but it was just like so hard. You know what I'm saying? But I never want to give up on this platform that I moved out to California for. That is the craziest part. That's what I forget about all the time. Like, I, I made this platform, and I told y'all, once I was able to get to California, y'all would see me posting more. Y'all would, would see me doing what I said I was going to do. <laughs> y'all ain't seeing shit. <laughs> like, y'all seeing on the gram, or y'all seeing, um what I show you on Twitter, but I feel like YouTube is really a part of my life that you guys could get deeper in. Like, y'all could see a different side of me, bro. And that's a side that I'm, I'm willing to show people. I just thought I had to make a YouTube video before the the year was over and let you guys know, like, what was what was I feeling, what was I going through? Just, just a lot of doubts 
and being unsure but I have been getting so much clarification that this year is going to be the year, well next year is going to be the year for me. Like I, I sense money, I sense jobs, connections, I just sense so much positivity going into next year and I didn't have that feeling going into 2020 obviously because this year was shit, but 2020, 2021 I'm taking a whole different outlook on that bro. It's Nobody's asking me for nothing because I'm saying no. I'm cutting off people that's not necessary in my life, that I just don't need, that is taking up space, that's not supporting me, that only speak to me when they feel like it. Like, people like that, I don't like people like that. I don't like friends like that, that, that keep, stay around to see if they still have access. Nah, you getting cut off. Bye. Bye. I don't need that in my life. I honestly don't and I feel like with the new year coming around I just got so much going for myself bro so I really have to push these feelings and these emotions and me stressing over things that I can't control or stressing over people that I, I can't control or I can't continue to do that I can't continue to do that no more no more will I sit here and allow myself to stress over things I cannot control like it's a, it's a, okay, whatever, it is what it is situation, like, I can't allow myself to, to stress over things or people that don't stress over me, so, who the fuck, okay, they gone. but I don't want to see her talking long, because I'll probably post a video tomorrow, obviously, of my, I don't even know what I'm going to post tomorrow, but, and I, I cannot believe I'm honestly, like, spending my New Year's alone, bro. Like, in my Christmas, like, I spend my Christmas, I sp I'm spending all of these holidays by myself, and it's just, it's, it's so disgusting and it's so disappointing. <laughs> like, it's so fucking disappointing, bro. Like, this is why I don't, like, listen to what people say, or, like, believe what people say. Anybody. I don't listen to what anybody say, because it's like... I feel like when you have expectations, you get disappointed. When you expect someone to do something and they don't, you're just like, damn, I kind of have faith, but now I don't, and I don't ever think I will. Like, shit's crazy, bro. Like, niggas let me down so much this year, it should be a sin before God. But that's, that's what I keep saying. Next year, it's about me. It's a selfish-ass year. I'm being selfish, and I really don't care what anybody has to say about that. You can't fight me on that. And that's that, but I hope this video gave you guys a little bit of insight. If I don't post a video tomorrow, I want to say Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Everything. I genuinely appreciated this stressful ass 2020 because it's making me stronger for 2021, and I am excited for that. If you guys are not following me on my social media, follow me on social media. Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that good jizz. If you're not following me on my social media, I just said that. If you're not following me on my YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications and give this video a big thumbs up. Drop it a comment down in the comment section below. What do you want your year to be like for 2021? Get chatty in the, com in the comments. I love you guys. Peace of a happiness. And make sure you guys stay black.